We're also taking a further step of banning imports of goods from several signature sectors of the Russian economy, including seafoods, vodka, and diamonds. And we're going to continue to squeeze Putin. The G7 will seek to deny Russia the ability to borrow from leading multinational institutions, such as the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. Putin is an aggressor. He is the aggressor. And Putin must pay the price. He cannot pursue a war that threatens the very foundations, which he's doing, the very foundations of international peace and stability, and then ask for financial help from the international community. The G7 is also stepping up pressure on corrupt Russian billionaires. We're adding new names to the list of oligarchs and their families that we're targeting. And we're increasing coordination among the G7 countries to target and capture their ill-begotten gains. They support Putin. They steal from the Russian people, and they seek to hide their money in our countries. They're part of a, that kleptocracy that exists in Moscow, and they must share in the pain of these sanctions. And while we're going after these, uh, su their super yachts and their vacation homes and worth hundreds of mil millions of dollars, we're also going to make it harder for them to buy high-end products manufactured in our country. We're banning the export of luxury, luxury goods to Russia. They're also the latest steps we're taking, but uh, they're not the last steps we're going to take. And as I said, at the beginning of all these steps, we're going to hit Putin harder because the United States and our closest allies and partners are acting in unison. 